Hey everyone, what's up? Dead Qualls here, and after a long and probably unnecessary break, I am finally continuing my tour series of Titanic. Uh, this we're gonna uh, we were, we ended with E deck last time, so now we're on F deck. Uh, I apologize for that long break. Um, just like I was just uh, school got really uh really crazy, uh, so and I was just like had no time to do this, and I was I just got really tired. But anyway. I found some time to make this video, and hopefully I can quick, I can uh, finish this uh, tour up. So uh, and we get on to new and better things. So uh, let's start with this. Um, just like all the other decks, uh, this is the uh, one of the fireman's rooms. Uh, except this one it goes all the way to the other side and all the way to the uh, starboard side and has a table here. So now we're gonna continue out here, and again like the other decks, fireman's wash place. And same thing on the other side, Fireman's Wash Place. Uh, and these had, that's right, and over here was the Lead Greasers. Um, just rooms again for the Lead Greasers. Uh, and I forgot to tell you that in this video, there's going to be a lot of, and probably the videos beyond, below, uh, after this, are going to be a lot of cutting through because of the bulkheads that uh, pretty much went through the ship. There's no way to get through the bulkheads, so I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting through the ships. So... I will meet you on the other side of this wall. And we're back. We are on the other side of that wall right here, and this is just third class rooms. A lot of them. Uh, it was window look outside. Um, that's pretty much what most of F deck is, is a lot of third and second class rooms. Uh, and if you're not careful, it can be like a maze down here. I've got a few comments, I've had a few comments saying I can't find my way out. Um, and to be honest, I kind of just laugh at that because it, it's true. I do get lost, and this is, it is pretty crazy. Um, this is a bunker hatch. Jump on. Uh, yep, just lots of rooms, third class rooms. Uh, continuing over in this direction, uh, more stairs up, uh, over there. Let's see what's, I mean, there's not much here but rooms, so it's pretty crazy. Um, and these doors, I will be fixing them. Uh, I will be releasing another 1.2.5 um, update of this map uh, with some fixes or some like errors that uh, I've been told. So uh, look forward to that, guys. Uh, what's over here? More rooms. Just more and more rooms. As you can see, I don't even know because it's been quite a while since I've built this ship, so I don't. I don't even remember some of the things that uh, where things are. Or actually, it's been a while since I built this deck be more precise. Um, let's see, just more deck, more, uh, more decks, more, uh, rooms over here, continuing over in this direction, again, more rooms, nothing too exciting. Yeah, we're gonna walk through this way. And I believe this is where I'm going to have to cut to the next part because the next part is right on the other side of this wall. So I will see you guys there. Hey guys, uh, one thing I forgot on this little part here um, uh, is a squash track court area. This is a tiny little area that can only be accessed via this and that set of stairs. Um, and over here is just clerks, where the male clerks would go because the male room was down this way as you saw, or as you will see in the next tour. Uh, and this over here leads to the squash racket court, so people here would observe them wa playing squash racket, whatever that was. And here's the stairs going down, but we're gonna see more of that on the next tour. Um, and one thing that I will, I forgot, I'm gonna mention now, uh, in this next update, you're probably, if you're exploring the ship and you see a sign that says dead koalas, um, leave it there. That is on purpose. It is a way to, uh, I guess, a way to prevent people from uh, stealing my ship. Not foolproof, but a, more of a way than I have right now, because uh, if you, anyone's been paying attention, my ship has been stolen not once, but twice. The second time being, uh, uh, this person put a lot more time and effort into trying to steal it than the other person. They made a to make a long story short, they made a forums post, and uh, they did a good, they did a fairly good job at covering the tracks. But the situation is now under control, um, and so that's that. And that's why if you see a sign that says "dead koalas," just leave it there. It's just to prevent people from having to 
uh, being able to completely get rid of every trace of me from this shit. So, uh, meet you in the next part. Alright guys, here we are uh, in the next section. Um, and we're in linen drying, linen, uh, linen area, so that's where all this is. Linens right here, so like bed sheets um, or tablecloths. I have beds in here because, I mean, that's what linen was for napkins and all those things. But beds are the closest thing to linen in Minecraft, so these represent like um, uh, hanging linens, hanging linens, drying. So over here, uh, just a locker. Um, soil linen. That's the soil linen would go. Again, same thing. Over here we have more linen and more linen storage. So like restaurant, restaurant linen, all that stuff. Um, and now we're gonna get to the Turkish pool. Uh, the the, tur <laughs> the Turkish pool, yes, the swimming pool and Turkish baths. Over here. Um, oh, drying of the linen. That's where this is right here. If you're wondering, if you can't read. Um, more lockers over here. Fans. Right in that room right there. Um, and now a swimming pool and Turkish baths, which I'm sure a few of you have been waiting for. So, this is a swimming pool. As you see, in, as you saw in the trailer, I was up here and I did a swoop here. Yep, that's what this room is. It's a swimming pool. It's on F deck. Um, this is a shower. Walk in, take a shower. Walk out. Changing rooms. And take a swim. Uh, the design for the floor, I kind of just guessed that, and I'm going to have to fix this because something went wrong when I when it updated, so I'm going to have to fix all that. I just guessed the flooring pattern because, I mean, size didn't really, I I, there were, I know there are pictures, but I didn't have the size to really do it, so and I, know, I know there's supposed to be railings, but again, I don't have the size enough to do it, so this just had, this had to do. Anyway, on to Turkish baths. These doors are messed up, but that's okay. And this is the Turkish baths. Yes, those are melons, if you were wondering. I like the look of them, because they kind of have a greenish, multi-green color. And lapis is the same thing. Um, electric bath. These serve no purpose, just to kind of look like electricness. Electricity. Shampooing room. Uh, just a shower for shampooing. Pretty much. It's like a pretty much a fancy wash place. Uh, and these are steam rooms. Steam room and a hot room. Pretty pretty obvious. Um that's supposed to, that's supposed to be right there, like a little fountain that uh was in the um in there in the ship. That's what that is supposed to be. Um That's pretty much it. It was I I didn't have a lot of room to do things and the more famous part of the Turkish bath is right here, which is the uh, drying room where people would sit and relax. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it to look exactly like it did in the actual ship because of just the size and how I had to build it. So I was a little disappointed in how this had to turn out. But, I mean, I did... I feel as though I did good for what I was giving myself. Dressing room. And a locker. So... That is it for that direction. Now we're going to come over to here, uh, which is, this is the Grand Staircase. This is the very last part of the Grand Staircase. Not many people realize that the Grand Staircase kind of went all the way down to F deck. Uh, some of you might, like, I guess you could argue that it stopped at D deck, like this is the last part right here, but it continued down onto F deck. So I guess you can kind of call this the Grand Staircase, but at the same time, it wasn't actually the grand staircase, if, if you know what I mean. Um, and these are uh, Turkish bath attendants. Stewards. Their dressing room, more stewards. And baggage master. And if you can tell me what the SR... If someone can tell me what the SRC professor, I believe that is, can tell uh, I, uh, who that person was and what his job was... Uh, that would be really, uh, really uh, interesting to know that because I just typed up whatever was on the deck plans, whatever it said uh, is in that room. So that's who that is. But please, if you know, I would love to know. All right, so that's pretty much it for uh, uh, for this deck, or for this not deck, for this little section here. I will meet you on the other side of this wall. 
All right, so now this is not actually directly on the other side of this wall. Um, the way this is working now, because now we're getting in the lower decks, and the lower decks are a little more confusing than the upper decks, so it's not as just straightforward a as a deck. Um, there are some rooms that can only be accessed with certain stairs, so this is one of the rooms uh, on the side of the ship, because now, now that we're getting down, there's the big... Um, uh, casings for the the uh, boiler casings and those are getting bigger as we go down so the, they there's no more like center part of the ship uh, it's more or less just two side sections so I have to kind of like do this in two parts um, right here is a third class stewards room and this is uh, really like the only room in this area that can only be accessed with stairs going up oh and I forgot uh, some cooks some of the more interesting cooks, as you see, Hebrew cook and Scandinavian uh, interpreter, which I didn't know they had one. Uh, if you can't didn't know, the stairs go. Are, this is from on E deck. This is a uh, 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 Scotland Yard stairs right here. They go down into that room right here, or right in this little co cove, I guess, into here. So, meet you at the next part, guys. All right, we're back. Uh, now this wall is actually directly adjacent. If I broke this wall, I would you would see the uh, third class stewards room. Um, this room is the third class dining room, uh, as you can tell by all the tables and chairs. And you can tell it's third class because well, there's a wooden floor, wooden tables, and cobble chairs. Not very fancy at all, but it didn't need to be because it was third class, and they got pretty much just enough to survive. Actually. They got quite a bit, uh, they were pretty fortunate on the Titanic, because, uh, they were getting enough food, they were getting uh, quite a bit of food to live, uh, or to, <laughs> that's kind of mean, uh, enough food to, uh, more food than they would normally on a normal cruise ship, uh, and there were, and the rooms were, I were a lot bigger than, uh, most cruise ships, um, but anyway, getting back to the tour itself, um, this is the, uh, um, forward part of the dining room, and then it kind of splits off into the aft uh, part of the dining room over here, because this is a bulk, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a bulkhead right here. Um, that's what these stairs are for, to kind of go across through the bulkheads, and I couldn't put, like, uh, railings going through, so I just kind of had to leave it like this. I don't like it, but it's the only way I can really do it to make it look a little decent. So, um, that's it for the third class dining room. Oh, what's over here? Forgot about this. Oh, just more fans. All right. Nothing too interesting. On to the next part, which I don't need to cut to. Yay. All right. Um, this is just kind of like the prepping area where the third class passengers would come and receive their food. At least, at least I think. It was kind of hard. I don't know how exactly the third class dining room worked. Uh, if they ca came to pick up their food or if they were actual stewards who brought them food. My guess is they actually went to pick up their food. Uh, and so using that uh, guess... I, I assume this is where they picked up their food, so you have, like, a brewing stand, um, a sink, shelves, a uh, chest with brewing things in there for quote-unquote liquor. Uh, and on the other side is the same thing, pretty much, except with two uh, windows this time. And now in this area, we'll start on the other side. We have bakers. Lots and lots of bakers and more third class stewards. There were a lot of them. This is where they were, uh, would sleep. Same thing. Yeah, I'll go in there so you can see. Just more stewards. Pretty much lots of beds. Bunk beds. And on the other side, there's more interesting things. Third class galleys. This is where the third class food would be cooked. Where the coal is to be stored. Sink. That had two doors right there. 